What's up, everyone? This is Tech Trooper 64, and today marks the end of an era. Well, technically yesterday. I'm a little bit late on this article, but that's only because I had some homework to do yesterday, and I could not do it. But anyway, I am done my homework now. I can finally talk about this. But today is the end of an era for the Xbox 360. So just last year, in 2015, in November, marked the 10th anniversary of the Xbox 360's launch. And uh, today, well, yesterday, like I said, April 20th of 2016, Microsoft has officially confirmed that they're stopping all Xbox 360 productions worldwide. Yeah. So here's what head of Xbox Phil Spencer had said on the regards of not making any more Xbox 360 consoles. Xbox 360 means a lot to Microsoft, and while we've had an amazing run, the realities of manufacturing a product over a decade old are starting to creep up on us, which is why we have made the decision to stop manufacturing new Xbox 360 consoles. We will continue to sell existing inventory of Xbox 360 consoles with availability varying by country. Spencer went on to mention that existing Xbox 360 hardware will still be supported and you will be able to buy Xbox 360 games through the online store, Xbox Live services will remain active, and Xbox One users will still be able to play Xbox 360 games through backwards compatibility. Wow. Now, Phil Spencer also went on to give some more stats of Xbox Live, for example, um, such as the fact that 78 billion hours were spent on the Xbox 360, that players have been also gaining 486 billion gaming score. And finally, 27 billion achievements were also gained. Wow, that's a lot. And I gotta say, the Xbox 360 is one of my favorite consoles, if not my favorite console of all time. And the reason why is because just the ease of use. And like, the Xbox 360 really demonstrated what consoles should be and what consoles are and how easy and simplistic and how basic they were that you could just buy the console buy the games you want to play plop it in and you're done you can just play it from the get-go and like and i'm not saying the wii or the ps3 didn't do that but the ps3 for example like it would force you to have updates before you could even launch the damn game the 360 it would say, oh, there's an update, but you can still play the game while we update it or whatever. And, like, it would be easier. The Wii, well, it was pretty much the same thing, but what I'm trying to say is the 360 had a normal controller, had a normal setup. You just plop a game in, and you start gaming. Not just that, but games always played better on the 360, which made it even better to play on. Bottom line, for people who don't really, uh, who didn't really play on the 360, the Xbox 360 was pretty much the PS4 today. It's just that it was that better console to play games on. The games looked better. The games ran better. The games were easier to use on the 360 rather than the PS3. Now, I'm not saying the games on the PS3 were unplayable, but they were just very, very gimped compared to the 360 version. And I gotta say, although the Xbox 360 doesn't have a lot of great exclusive titles, it's got good ones. It's just it's not got, it doesn't have great exclusives that I would say, like, you know, it's great to buy the Xbox for. But I'd say buy it for third-party games, because that's what it's great for. Anyways, I think that's enough for that. I say salute the Xbox 360, and this will actually be the last video that I will include Xbox 360 and the name Xbox 360 in the tags of my videos, because I think now that it's the end of the Xbox 360, I think it's time to let it die, and just let it slowly, slowly just leave alone the 360 to rest. It was a great console while it lasted, but now it's over, and now we're in the era of Xbox One. And I gotta say, so far, Microsoft is doing great in terms of exclusives. They're might, maybe not winning the console war, but I gotta say, the Xbox One right now has better exclusives than the Xbox 360 ever had. I'm just saying, that's my opinion. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe to me if you want to see more content like this. And let me know in the comments down below some of your Xbox 360 fond memories. I think in commemoration of this video, I might actually make a video of top my top 10 Xbox 360 games. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, 
Don't forget to rate, comment, favor, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you, what are your Xbox 360 memories. I'll see you guys then. Peace.